Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Teams has come out with another great feature. It is called Tags. It works with at mentions. In case you're wondering what is an at mention, here it is. I have Teams running. I'm already in Teams. I have the finance team open. I'm going to go to accounts receivable. That's the channel. If I want to at mention someone, I do the at symbol and type in their names. So I'm going to put in Christian. There he is. And Christian will be notified that I at mentioned him in a channel. So there's an at mention to a person. You can also at mention, in case you're wondering, the entire team. I'm in the finance team. So there's finance team. Another test. The third item you can at mention is you can actually at mention a channel. I want to at mention budget and planning. There's the channel. So you can also at mention a channel for people that are following the channel. Now, tags are brand new, came out last month. They're really cool. Let's assume that you're at a company and you need to at mention all the managers that are part of a team, or maybe all the directors that are part of a team, or even maybe just the graphic artists. You can make tags. So let's say there's 12 managers. I don't have to type in 12 people, at mention 12 people. I'm going to tag them as managers. So here we go. You set up the tags at the team level, not at the channel level. So I'm on the finance team. Manage tags. I don't have any. If this doesn't work, your admin probably hasn't turned it, uh, turned on this feature. Or if you're on the free Microsoft Teams, which is the free version, I couldn't get this to work. I'm in my paid Teams account. So I'm going to hit create tag. I'm going to name this managers. Who do I want to put in this? Let's assume that I have 50 people that are part of the finance team. I'm going to just put in Christian for now. I would keep typing in the names of the 12 managers if there were 12 managers. Click on create. So the tag is called managers. Let's go see if that works and then I'll make one more. At managers. It tells me how many people have this tag. It says one. Can we, can we meet? later this week. So I just sent that to all the managers. If you're a hospital, an example of tags is you might put all the physicians as a tag called physicians. You could even break that up and put um, heart specialists or radiologists. You can have as many tags as you want. I'll answer down in the comments below where this runs out, but it's a lot. Uh, you could have again at the hospital, you could put all the nurses as a tag back to a company. If I had graphic artists that were part of a team, I might want to add, do a create a tag for graphic artists or graphic designers. One more tag. Again, it's at the team level, not at the channel level. Manage tags. Create tag. This one is going to be um, graphic designers. Who do you want to put in here? Again, I would sit here and type in all the names. You can always come back here and add and remove people. Create. So now Christian is actually a member of two different tags. He's a member of graphic designers and managers. So at graphic designers. It works also if I go to the accounts payable channel at graphic designers. So the tags that you create for the finance team, which I made two, they work for that team. If I come down here to websites and videos, manage tags, I don't see those because that's a different team. Anyway, down in the body of my YouTube video, in the description, I'll answer a bunch of questions that you may already have. I'll also give you the Microsoft support site for tags and teams. Great feature. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great week.